Hi, in this episode, we will try to create some schema for our data script database. We will do that for sprites. So I have some sprites right here, like uh, this one is crossbow one, and say it's four frames, right? There's two frames for night, two, four frames for skeleton as well. So let me just copy over the sprites. Okay, and we'll try to build a schema like in order to, to render those, we will we need a description of, of basically of the layout of that sprite sheet, right? So, uh, basically, we will start with um, yeah, this is one we don't need. Uh, let's start with sprite sheet name, right? So the schema sprite sheet name is going to be well, keyword, I guess. Then sprite sheet, I don't know, width. So width is going to be well, a little bit counter intuitively. Oh, well, yeah, probably sprite. Uh, okay, yeah, so. Um, Okay, anyways, uh, spreadsheet with height and what else do we need? Well, let's say we also have animation, right? So animation will be like a single spreadsheet contains multiple animations, so we'll need a name for that. So example of animation would be, for example, skeleton idle, right? Something like that. Uh, then animation frames. Uh, actually, it's first frame, which is int and last frame, which is also int, right? And animation needs uh, reference to the to the spreadsheet. Okay, so. So yeah, this is a little bit boring right now. So let me animation sprite. Sheet. Okay. So this will need a type. So usually data script doesn't require you to define types except it's a reference, right? And in this case, it is a reference. So it's db types shell. Okay. And also the thing that we missed is that names should be unique. Uh, actually, we need them to be indexed, but it's also they also have to be unique, right? Just in case. Okay, so the be unique, be unique identity. Okay, and same for this name. So as you can see, yeah. Uh, so data script uh, takes like this. Uh, okay, yeah. This is basically this this key. And let's let's fill in the initial I don't know, initial state, initial track. So we, we have three sprite sheets, right? So well it's gonna be sprite sheet name. Um, let's start with night. Okay, I'm, I'm, I will I guess we will see that a lot, so it's better to use a little bit shorter name. So, uh, with is, uh, let me remember, it's 56, if I remember, yeah, height is 56 as well. And, yeah, that's it. Oh, I forgot, I forgot the, the picture, right? So, shit, URL, and this is gonna be a string. And it's basically night of picture. Okay. Uh, same goes for skeleton and for the let's uh girls bowling and for skeleton. Okay, and then we have animations. So animations are a little bit different, so it's animations which name will be for example 
right? I will, so I only have idle animations in there, but like this one, right? So animation first frame zero. I'm going to use zero based indexes. The last frame is one and animation sprite sheet. Uh, we are going to use, um, yeah, we're going to use that. So we need to provide reference here. We can use, for the reference, we can use, um, well, I can use different things, right? But in this case, we can just use the lookup reference. This is lookup reference, it means like find an entity with uh, this attribute set to this thing. Same, almost the same is for Cross Bowman and for the sorry for the skirt. Okay, so this is it. And oh yeah, basically, oh uh, sorry, uh, I probably should reorder those so that uh, everything that relates, for example, for Cross Bowman, so they are like um, kept together, right? So if we add something to the night, uh, I, I have everything about the night around. So let's see, it seems to, well, didn't I? I didn't remove this still. Okay, so yeah, we shouldn't see anything in here probably. I should have by that time installed real line, hopefully. Uh, no, 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 no. Let me Yes, what I need. And yes, yeah, so you, as you can see, it has schema, right? It has uh, some data in it, in there. So it all should work, more or less. Uh, so I think uh, that's left. So, okay, so it's a time, I think, to discuss a little bit how we define schema in, in data script, right? So this is default way, right? Um, you don't need anything to define schema this way. Okay. The downside of this, this is what was copied from Datomic and basically, well, yeah, and you you only have to specify the stuff that is required, right? So you don't have to specify types, for example, except the reference. So this script needs to know if you use a reference to add this to an in index, right? But if it's a string or an int, it, it can't care as long as it, as long as it's comparable, it's fine, right? But you probably do want to keep around some documentation, some, I don't know, information around somehow, like uh, that this keyword, this is a string, this is int and stuff like that. Uh, so that's one thing, right? That I I prefer uh, fix at some point, I think, uh, yeah. So the other thing is that I find those like very, very long, too, way too long, right? So instead, so what, what do I do instead? So as the approach I find usable is um, so yeah name type and present. So what if we can define schema like this? Spreadsheet name, keyword, keyword, identity, right? So this is one URL string. We can probably use some like just like that. Um, what else? This, this shouldn't be relative, relative to static, actually. As I can think of it, it should be. So the thing is, if you reference this from CSS, which itself is in static gear, 
it shouldn't be reality. But if we reference it from JavaScript or index uh, HTML, right, it has to be relative to index HTML. So yeah, basically, so I, I like this, this notation is much more concise in my opinion. So I really like it. And I really prefer to specify schema that way. Right, let me, let me just convert um, everything else here. And Animation has name, animation has first frame, last frame, and animation has sprite should right? Um, yeah, it's error. Why not, right? So this is much more readable in my opinion. Maybe we can actually maybe we can even improve it a little bit by specifying like yeah why do we have to do that maybe we have a sprite sheet and under it we have name which has those tags then we have URL which has Just like so, if it's string, it's uh, documentation. If it's well, keyword string or whatever, it's type, right? If it's um, key, it's a name. And you can um, the way attributes are well. If you take all the attributes that Datomic has or DataScript has. It turns out that you can make everything this way. You don't need the key. So if you if you know the value of the key, for example, if you know DB unique identity, you know which key it belongs to. And if you have a bit like index or a full text search, right, it, it only can has value true. So yeah. And uh, yeah, I, I I see why they went with the long form, but Really, here I, I would prefer a short one because this is the only place where a schema is defined, so we couldn't possibly do any harm by like, just making ourselves a little bit more comfortable. And we will have a lot of schema in the future, right? In the next versions. So, this is just the start. So, we just described like a very minimal. A set of information about our system, like we just described uh, three pictures, three, three sprite sheets. In the future, we will have much more. So, why not make it um, easy on the eyes? Okay, and uh, we need to convert this. Yeah, something like that. So, compare this to this uh, I find the first one much easier to read much less repetition uh, much easier to spot what's going on the types uh, and, uh, uh, and so right and there's grouping automatic sort of uh, the only thing left is to work for us to write this function okay let's let's try to do that the sense of live coding, right? So we will have a schema S, which will like have a namespace and attributes first, right? Then what we'll have is, well, we will have attribute in attributes. Oh no, we'll have attribute. Uh, this is the Attribute as it's a map. So we'll have attribute and tags. In a 
entry. Okay, uh, like that. And after that, we will basically have to process each tag. But this is a um, yeah, we will probably need another function like text to text to attribute. Oh, text tag to attribute, something like that. And it will will have well we can actually we can yeah. So if the tag is <laughs> we just we can just list every tag we have. If a tag is identity, we have to return db unique db unique identity. If the tag is uh, what else ready, right? So it's db unique ready. If the tag is it's this, if it's compound. What else do we have? Uh, we have index. If it's index, we have db index. So, um, now we, we might have some types. If it's uh, ref, we have to convert it to the uh, basically db db type db type ref. If it's any other type um, and which we support, which might be keyword, string, int, what else can we have? Boolean, I think. Yes. Double, long. Well, instead of int, we probably should use number. No, int is fine. And if it's Oops, I actually missed tag. We don't have to do anything. So this could be safely ignored. Okay, so if it's a string, um, so it will be db dog tag. I don't remember, I, I hope data script doesn't mind having db dog. I'm not sure about that, but I hope it doesn't mind. What else do we have? Um, oh, it comes to, will come to me later if I, when I remember it, if, if we miss something, right? So we can always change this function as well. Okay, so uh, now we have attribute tag and we, can, we should do something like, well, we, should try to return something like keyword from an SN attribute. This is going to be our key. And for tags, we should apply our into hash map and then map tag to attribute uh, text. Yes. Yes, so this is the sort of thing that I would very much prefer to test on on REPL, in a REPL. Let's see. Okay, so something is not Oh, we're redefining. Okay, this is fine. So we have REPL here. Let's see what schema to uh, erase to. Yeah, I can do that. I will wrap, yes. Let's see what this relates to if everything is in place. It's basically this. I'd be happy with that. The only downside is this approach. Maybe I shouldn't do that, actually. Maybe I should just just do that. I don't know. Yeah, 
Ja, genau. Ja, alle wieder da. And we won't have a ripple unless this, this thing connects to, to this thing. So let's, let's connect, please. Yeah. Yeah? Uh, yeah. No, actually, we should have a ripple now. Any moment now. Any moment. I can, uh, yeah, let's see. So, yeah, let's see. Here's my. Let's go. Okay, so we have a uh, hmm, sprite sheet, db unique, db unique identity, sprite sheet URL, nothing, sprite blah blah blah, db type graph. Yeah, it seems like it does what I expected to do. So, if I uh, comment out this one, and uh, to reload ah uh, no 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 <laughs> I was looking at the old schema uh, this is the new one and the new one is definitely is not doing what I expected to do right yeah because it should be like this well, this is why you need the REPL right so now the new one is doing what I expected to do including this documentation well yeah why not documentation right and it seems to work, yes. The data script doesn't seem to mind having DB docs, so this is fine. I just didn't remember if I like check them for unknown keys or not. It seems I don't. Okay, so now we have uh, keyword string and reference. What else? What else? What else? I don't know. Uh, yeah, if if I remember anything else, what about new? So, hmm. What about news? Yeah, news I ignored. So this is this is. This is really good, so we don't have to do any any specific dance to work around it. All right, so yeah, basically this is the schema. This is the schema itself. This is our initial state. Maybe I should think of more shorter namespaces. Maybe you know, this seem too way too long. I mean, instead of animation. Well, yeah, I probably should at least do a name instead of animation. What about sprite sheet? Let's call it sheet. But I, I don't want to call it sprite because sprite is like actual sprite on the screen. And this is more like a, a base class for sprites. So a picture or a resource, or, I don't know, image. Well, it's sprite sheet basically, yeah. So let's save, let's see if it works. It seems to work, right? So compilation seems like an in incremental compilation, as you can see, it's, it's, it's pretty fast. So under two seconds on my, on my very busy notebook, which also records video at the same time. And as you can see that it's probably also caches Dropbox. So yeah, it, it's, it's, it's really busy. So and still compilation takes not that long. We have small projects over here, yeah, but we are using database, we are using Grub, so this all uh, contributes. Okay, so this is it for today's episode. So we have a schema now, so some sort of schema, right? So in the next episode, we will try to get some units on the screen, I think, set up some system to draw them, and probably some schema also, additional schema in place, like a, a unit or something like that. Right, um, yeah. And that's it. Uh, until next time. Bye-bye.